As the Obama administration prepares to send 21,000 additional U.S. troops to stop the Taliban insurgency in Afghanistan, some civilians say the troops will bring more war, not peace. These men speak of anger, hatred, and broken promises. They were extremely curious as to what we were doing. They would hide their women and children, thinking we were coming there to hurt them like the Russians or whatever. An AP television crew embedded with U.S. troops in the Nurk Valley taped soldiers searching homes for weapons. Some U.S. troops say they're just beginning to see improved relations. But now when we roll through there, and just like you saw, everybody runs out and waves at us, even the little girls and... And some of the, uh, I mean, boys and men always come out, but once you, once the girls start coming out, once they start letting the girls out, then you know, uh, you know that they, you really want them over. Still, civilian deaths are causing increasing friction between the Afghan and U.S. governments. President Barack Obama and Afghan President Hamid Karzai are meeting in Washington today. Karzai is expected to raise the issue of civilian casualties during their first face-to-face -face meeting in the U.S. Karzai has ordered a probe into allegations that dozens of civilians died in U.S.-led bombing in western Afghanistan. John Belmont, The Associated Press.